Lord, I, I know I have not spoken to you in many months. I am sorry. But please, let me humbly ask you this one thing. Please let my family welcome me. Please let them accept me once more. Head up the old stairs. Go deeper into the forest. You'll find a stone slab bench. Turn left there. When you see the chapel up ahead, go inside. We'll be waiting. Like you're back. Caleb, look, Becky's home and... What are you doing here? I said... What are you doing here? Caleb, I... I... Caleb, she's home, right? This isn't her home anymore. She left us. But she came back. Caleb, can't you just... No, Simon. But look... You... I said no! Do you know why I keep her name on that board over there? Everyone here has a role. You prepare food for everyone. Kelsey plays her guitar and brings cheer to our lives. Zoe helps us find new folks to share ourselves with. You remind us that everything we have here can be lost in an instant. You symbolize betrayal and selfishness. Get back to sleep. There's nothing to see here. This is my home! This WAS YOUR HOME! This is my home! No! Caleb! Caleb, this is my home! Caleb! No! Caleb, please! I'm sorry! I'm not... Please! Caleb, please! Please! I'm so sorry! Please! I 
thought about what you were saying last night. I couldn't sleep. You know, when I found you, you were... You were so aimless. So sad. There was so much potential in you. I could see it. But it was being buried underneath all that pride worldly things you were taught. And since you came with us, the way you grew up, it was astounding to me. That's why what you did was such a knife to my heart. I'm sorry. God preaches forgiveness. It got me thinking about the story of the prodigal son. Luke 15, 24. For this son of mine is dead, but is alive again. For he was lost, but is found. I'm going to have you go through initiation again. If God really wants you here like he wanted you here all those months ago, he will show us once again. If you can get through initiation one more time, I suppose we'll have to let you stay. Oh, thank you. I, I promise I won't let you down. Let's get started. I'm sorry, Beck. You know how this works. Do you like Caleb? Yes. Why? Caleb is good. He's he's nice to me. Is he always nice? Sometimes he's hard on us. He he wants to make us better. Do you think maybe he could be better sometimes? I I, I shouldn't. my mom. Why? Did she leave? Uh, no, I, I actually stayed with her. Um, my mom wouldn't take me. <laughs> Do you miss her? No. No. Let's check on Zachary later.
the aspirant will step forward. I need an interpreter. Zachary. Heavenly Father, we gather here once again to receive her as you will have her. Like the prodigal, she was lost, but she has found her way again. Do you accept her? If it is your will, then show us a sign. If her heart has been softened and been redeemed, then speak through her. And translate through our brother Zachary the words that we may understand. If it is your will, then show us a sign. God is silent. Please, I, I just need a minute. Please, please, I, I just need a minute. Enough. This is my daughter, with whom I am well pleased. Seheno Vegeto. There is no one like her. Vish Eakos. On the face of the earth. Centralist Gos. Truly, I say to you. Jarnak Jack Ishu. One of you will betray me. Bong Jaho Enivo. Beware, false prophet. Bong Jaho Enivo. Bong Jaho Enivo. Oh, if you're 
your eye causes you to sin, gouge it out. For it is better to enter eternal life with one eye than to live with two eyes and be thrown into the fires of hell. Lock him up. He has a demon. I believe in God. Agree. I believe in evil. Strongly agree. Sounds seem louder or softer than they really are. Disagree. It seems like the objects around me change their shape or size. Disagree. I am beautiful. Disagree. I am loved. Yes. I love myself. Heavenly Father, your aspirant has proceeded. Like the prodigal, she was lost, but has been found again. Do you accept her? If it is your will, show us a sign. Has anyone lost? Once. Tommy. He fired. But the gun didn't go off. Dud round. But he still stayed? Yeah, well... What more of a sign could you ask for? Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Get the next one ready. Hey. It's 
okay. You've passed. Becky, do you recognize this? What is this? You won it, playing chess. Do you still play? I hate chess. You have many more medals, just like this one. Why did you stop? It, it got in the way. What did? It's a game of pride. It, it makes you doubt. Chess is a game of intellect. You must have been smart. I, I can't be smart. It's, it's bad for me. Why is it bad? It, 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 it makes me sin. Who told you that? Becky? Would you say Caleb is a smart person? <sighs> Becky? What's wrong? We're ready for you. What's wrong? Did Caleb move the cylinder in the gun? What? You handed it to him. Did he move it? I... No. You said they were ready? Follow me. Beware the false prophet. I had three brothers. I tried to share my life with my brothers before I met all of you by inviting them over here. One just flat out rejected me. He said he didn't understand my beliefs or why I believed them. My second brother John, though, he joined me rather quickly. But when our family started coming over and calling, saying that what we were doing was somehow unhealthy. And they kept threatening him. His wife left him. That was bad enough. But then his mother called to say she disowned him. That was the last straw. He left before his life truly started. My third brother joined too. But he wasn't ready. We discovered too late that the love of money and pleasures of the world overtook him. He moved away to a fancy apartment, really living it up. This one, however, didn't leave because of any of those things. No, she left because of something more natural, something very human. But all the same, very dangerous. Doubt. Not a single person in the world understands God fully, but they follow Him anyway. Why? Because He understands everything. 
and he has proven himself worthy of praise and worship throughout history. And so they follow him. And so we do the same. I have been given the gift of insight. I know things. And I have been given things, knowledge, that are mine alone. So you must keep faith in me. Because if you have faith in me, you have faith in God the Father. Now, let's see if she's still faithful. God in heaven, thank you. Thank you for revealing yourself to us. Thank you for these trials and these teachings that you've brought us. Now we ask for one more. We have devoted our lives to you, O oh God. We come to you together as one body in Christ. Our blood is our neighbor's blood. Our pain is each other's pain. And now the aspirant asserts herself in that bond. If you deem it so, show us a sign. God is silent. Hey, what's wrong? I'm bleeding. What? I am too. Has this ever happened before? That's amazing. I can't believe this. Caleb, where is yours? Where is it, Caleb? What? What? Why doesn't he have it? Lord! Lord, what is this? Beware the false prophet. That's what Becky said, isn't it? But... Is he not... I... Where are you? God! Why have you forsaken me? No. No. He called to me. He's in me!
Lord, I thank you. I thank you for your miracles. I thank you for mercifully letting me rejoin my family. I am forever indebted to you. I am your servant. My mind, body, and soul are yours. Thank you. Hey, Beck. Coming? I'll be there soon, Simon. I love you. I praise you. I thank you. In your name, amen. Yeah. 